Hello, we hope you're doing well with your families at home during this coronavirus outbreak. Today, we are going to be having a discussion on the African Mining Vision implementation from 2017 to 2019. So to give a little background, Policy Forum in 2017 conducted a study in partnership with Tax Justice Network Africa on where is the money, taxation, and the state of the African Mining Vision implementation in Tanzania. Joining us today is a man of many titles, Dr. Boniface Luhende. He is a lecturer at the University of Dar es Salaam School of Law, a registered tax consultant, and an advocate of the High Court. So Dr. Luende, where are we with the performance of the African Mining Vision? The African Mining Vision was adopted in February 2009 by the heads of state and government of the African Union. The vision serves as a policy tool to guide the development of mineral resources in Africa. The African Mining Vision comprises of 10 cluster programs. One of the key clusters is fiscal regimes. The African Mining Vision requires African countries to obtain and collect adequate share of mineral revenues. The vision also requires African countries to utilize revenues in an equitable manner. From the year 2017 to the year 2019, Tanzania has taken several measures to align its mining sector with the aspirations of the African mining vision. Uh, several measures have been undertaken. These include legislative reforms, policy reforms, and administrative reforms. In the year 2017, several laws were amended and new laws were introduced. And these reforms aimed at ensuring that the country collects an adequate share of the revenues from the mining sector. I will highlight a few reforms from the mining sector. The first key reform aimed at reviewing the tax system as well as the loyalty regime. These measures include the introduction of mandatory 16% government share in all major mining projects, increase the rate of loyalty for gemstone and diamond from 5% to 6%. The law also introduced a 1% inspection fee on the gross value of minerals before exportation out of the country. The other reforms aimed at addressing tax revenue leakages. There are several measures introduced by the government. The adoption of the transfer pricing regulations in 2018, which aim at curbing transfer mispricing. The second one is the establishment of mineral trading centers. About 25 mineral trading centers have been established. The establishment of the Mining Commission with duties to audit and supervise mineral production in the country. Also increased security around mine sites. For example, a wall has been created around Mereran mine site. The other reforms aimed at uh, addressing negotiations and the renegotiation of unconscionable terms. The law now has prohibited inclusion of unconscionable terms in the mining agreements, but also the parliament has been given powers to instruct the government to review to see whether or not they contain unconscionable terms. Another measure undertaken by the government is introduction of local participation in the mining sector. In 2018, mining local content regulations were published which require mining companies to give preference to goods produced locally 
and services provided by local Tanzanians. It is also a requirement that the beneficiation of minerals should be done locally and the law has prohibited exportation of raw minerals. There is also a requirement in the Mining Act now that mining companies should plow back their profits to the local economy. The government also has undertaken measures to improve the business environment in the country. These measures include the publication of a blueprint for regulatory environment in Tanzania of 2018, which aims at improving Tanzania's business environment, also removing bureaucracy in doing business, and other nuisance taxes. The other uh, measure taken by the government is holding meetings with different stakeholders. One of the meetings was attended by the President, His Excellency Dr. John Pombe Magufuri, whereby all stakeholders in the mining sector attended and explained their concerns. So we have heard a mind-blowing overview from Dr. Luhende. Um, Dr. Luhende, what do you think are the areas for further improvement to reach the aspirations of the African mining vision? The first is that up to now, Tanzania does not have a special fund like the one in the oil and gas sector that can be used to uh, manage windfall revenues, provide infrastructure and set aside income for use by future generations. The other challenge is that there is lack of legal mechanism for benefit transfers or benefit sharing uh, to host communities around the mine site. So what recommendation would you make towards filling those gaps? I would recommend that the government should analyze the viability for establishment of a mineral development fund like it is in the oil and gas sector so that all uh, revenues from the mining sector can be managed effectively but also to take into account future generations also to take into account the price fluctuation of the minerals. The government should provide guidelines on the use of local government levy from the mining sector so that the host communities around the mine site also should get a guarantee of receiving part of that revenue to their local communities. Thank you very much, Doctor, for giving us such an insightful presentation. Thank you for inviting me. The presentation was definitely mind-blowing and knowledge-filling. We'd like to thank you, our viewers, for watching. Due to the coronavirus, Policy Forum will hold similar virtual dialogues, and the next dialogue will be with Wajibu Institute of Public Accountability on the Controller and Auditor's General Report 2018-2019. Keep watching, stay tuned, and prepare your questions. Welcome again.